kept me going and um, the, I mean the words of Ruchika, you know, she always said that we have to make every girl secure in this country and it should not happen to anybody else so that, that kept me going. Always. You were up against the police, you were up against a government, all people in power. Did you ever feel that, uh, I mean were you ever threatened, how, how was it, how was the effort then, how was the struggle? Uh, yeah, it was very difficult all these years because when we started, I was just 13 years old and the first three and a half years were very difficult uh, because I saw Ruchika breaking down and uh, she was a very brave girl but I saw her going down every year and uh, Rathor was doing everything uh, his influence uh, and she was shattering every moment. Uh, she was a blossoming flower and I saw her shriveled and shut down. Uh, in the end of her days, uh, she was totally depressed and fr frustrated because uh, her brother was taken to police and uh, he was sent to jail and he was kept there and beaten. So she was really worried about him and uh, this, is, this, is, this was the last blow to her when uh, she decided, I mean, she committed suicide. So after that it became very difficult for me because she wasn't there with me in this fight at all. But um, uh, it's just that... What was it that made you uh, continue this fight? 20 years is a long time ago. Um, as I said, um, Ruchika was there in spirit with me. That is what I felt. And uh, her wordings were uh, always constantly uh, haunting me that, yes, we have to make this country secure because what happened to her should not happen to anybody else. Because as you